Hey everybody, welcome back to the Best Score News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. In today's numismatic news and information for the 18th day of January 2024, I'd like to welcome you over to MoneyMetals.com so we can check out those live spot prices as well as the availability and the premium for the American Silver Eagle. After that, we're going to bump over to the United States Mint website, check out their bullion sales. There is a new tale to tell here on this 18th day of January. Then we're going to bump over to CoinNews.net. There's some interesting information there I need to share with you. Then it gets even more interesting. Got it. I, I can't even contain myself, but I'm going to have to. We're going to save the best for last. You won't even believe it yourself. Some of you probably already know, but before all that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to 3.5 million subs. That way we can open up the Son of a Silver Stacker store and sell the Son of a Silver Stacker merchandise. There it is. Can't wait. That'll be so cool. Now, there you go. Looks like everything is up across the board. Gold's up. $8.20 to twenty twenty five thirty. Silver up $0.05 cents to twenty two seventy nine. Platinum up also nine ninety five to nine oh seven ninety five and palladium up seventeen sixty five to nine seventy fifty five. That is just ridiculous. I can't believe how low these are. Now you're looking at a not an in stock American Silver Eagle. It says one week's delay on this item or week delay. We don't know what's going on over there at the United States Mint, but I can tell you their quality control this year is a little bit off. And uh, that has something to do with what we're gonna be talking about later. Now, you can pick these American Silver Eagles up for $29.78 with a $6.99 premium, and they're going to buy them back for $24.21 each. Now, over here to the bullion sales at the United States Mint, these are the 2024 numbers, and would you look at that? We're a hair under 5 million American Silver Eagles for January. That's incredible. Look at this. We were, I think, at 52,000. Now we're 60,000. That's 8,000 ounces. That's right. That's the one ounce American Gold Eagle coin right there. So we're at 60,000 there. Then this bumped up to 10th ounce. Now we're at 80,000 of those coins sold. That is incredible. The Mint is really pushing those out quite a bit. That's fractional. And it'd be really cool to get all these fractional half ounce, quarter ounce, 10th ounce as into the American Silver Eagle as well. Wouldn't that be something? Now, let's get busy with it. This is CoinNews.net. This is by Mike Unser, dated January 17, 2024. And I will cut in halfway to show you the news. I'm good. Just That's the way it's going to be here. Now, it says commemorative coins in honor of Harry Tubman maintain their top sales positions at the U.S. Mint through the week ending January 17th. That was just four days ago, folks. These coins completed their first full week of sales after their January 4 pre-sales release. Orders for the coins are not uh, scheduled to start shipping until February 12th, and a $5 discount is available for each coin through February 5th. So if you haven't picked yours up yet, yeah, you might want it before that $5 discount disappears. Now, it says here four of the coins featuring Tubman, along with three coin proof set, made it to U.S. Mint's top 10 sales list. The more expensive gold coins missed the top list, ranking in 20th and 21st positions. There you go. That's interesting, isn't it? The gold is not as popular, even though gold is very popular right now. One of those things. Now, the 2024 Philadelphia Proof Harriet Tubman Silver Dollar was the most popular this time around. Last week, it was the second best seller for the Mint following the 2023 San Francisco Minted Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar Reverse Proof Strike, which saw a significant increase of 17,099 units, reaching 217,555 in sales. In reversal, the latest sales data showed the set moving in the opposite direction with a decrease of 6,850 units, bringing it down to 210,704. Yeah, what's up with that? What's going on at the United States Mint where they, they just can't even get their numbers straight? And that's that's like, what? Yeah, go figure. Now, these are the U.S. Mint, Mint's weekly top sellers here. Number one, the proof Harry Tubman Silver. The number two spot, that proof Morgan Silver Dollar. Number three is that mint set sold 1,213. We're at 168.92 now. Number four spots taken by the proof Peace Dollar. Number five, the proof Harry Tubman Half Dollar. The uncirculated, number six for the half uh, Tubman Silver Dollar. All right, the number seven is the uncirculated half dollar. Number eight is the Harry Tubman three coin proof set. Then we're looking at 2023 American Innovation dollar proof set from 2023. That's actually kind of remarkable. And then number 10 spot, the 2023, all right, silver proof eagle. So one, two, three, four, five products. Half the products here are from last year. And that makes sense. You know, there's only about seven, eight, nine products that are available now. And we don't have any um, of two of those products, a congratulations set, and that W Eagle, well, those aren't even on the mid's, um, I guess, sales report just yet, right? They'll be next week. Now, it says here, in its latest report, the U.S. Mint published sales data for 405 numismatic products. The data revealed 51 products outperformed their sales in the previous week, compared to 43 in the prior report. Four products experienced an increase over 1,000 units, whereas two did in the previous report. So it looks like things are ramping up a bit. Now, this is where we get to the money, 
right here. Additionally, seven products experienced negative weekly sales, a notable increase compared to the two in the other previous report. Two of them experienced significant declines, one of which is the previously mentioned Morgan and Peace two coin reverse proof set, right? Well, the other product, and here we go. This is the one I'm going to be mentioning right now. This is a big deal, folks. The 2023 proof set saw a decrease of 1,390, marking its fourth consecutive weekly decline following previously weekly decrease of 298 and 1157 and 1309, right? They're falling off a cliff. Well, why is that? Well, something interesting happened, and I want to show you here. So this was my page, and I was answering people, and this is Timothy, Timothy Smith, 3158. He says here, got another correction mailing from the U.S. Mint, this time replacement packaging, outer box sleeve for the 2023 proof set with an apology letter. I'm like, what? Yeah, I say another because I also had to receive the coin metal corrected COA, you know, the Liberty metal, right? Back orders may be due to this discrepancy. And I'm like, holy smokes, he's probably right. Well, what is he talking about? Well, let's go here over to Reddit. This is the 2023 U.S. Mint, uh, US Mint proof set error. All right, and if you bought one earlier, this is the one you've got, right? But the updated one is this. Can you tell the difference? See, I'm Ray Tall Chief, OVD Dodd. Eleanor Roosevelt, Edith Canacoli, and Bessie Coleman. Well, Bessie, wait a minute. So Bessie Coleman is the actual picture has been changed. She looks way more sporty in her flight suit or flight air, uh, attire than she does like in well like a high, like a librarian. Right there it is. So that's what the error is. Just received this packaging replacement from the mint. Mentions a problem with the packaging. What I can see is a different image for Bessie Coleman. Anyone else get this? So there it is. And another person. Check this out. There those two images are. Bam. And obviously the Bessie Coleman is different. And it's also like this. Check this out. All right. Now this is the proof set from 2023 on the United States Mint back orders. That's probably why it's back ordered. Well, look at that. We have the updated Bessie Coleman on the back of that one. Well, look at this. This is the quarters proof set. Yep, indeed. There it is. It's also got the updated picture on the Bessie Coleman because I'm hand holding in front of me a 2023 U.S. Mint proof set, and I'm holding the 2023 American Women Quarters proof set, and it has, well, that other picture. So what I'm thinking here is, and I think this person's correct. Now, this is Coin Community Family. This person here, all right, says, and this was just yesterday at 12, 10, p, at 10, 12 p.m., just received the U.S. Mint a new box to store my clad proof set in from 2023. I checked what the air was. Sets sold until recently had the incorrect picture of Bessie Coleman on the packaging. I'm keeping both as I, uh, as I, it is rather a fascinating air that is not directly numismatic and more akin to a stamp air. Think about Legends of the Wild Wild West, uh, 1993 paint of 20 stamps that had the first month of the two of the wrong picture of Bill Pickett. Yeah, well, that's all right. English is good. Now, here we go. How would you classify this error? Numismatically related or simply other? Have you encountered such a mint packaging error before? And nobody's responded to him. But he takes a little shot over here. Oh, and by the way, now watch out for YouTubers talking about a rarity of the 2023 clad proof sets with the packaging error and how one should seek after it. I hope not because I think over 300,000 sets have the error so with those with the corrected packaging will be lesser, right, in volume and numbers than those with the incorrect one, unless this causes a run on 2023 clad proof sets. There you go, folks. Who knew? Isn't that something? So you might want to check your clad proof set and your American Women Quarters proof set to see if you have the updated picture, the photograph. I'll show you one more time of what it looks like. Yeah, there's the Bessie Coleman. That's the original that came out, and that's the updated one right there. Now, does that matter to anybody? Probably not too many of us, but it matters to me, and that's why I am reporting on it here this morning to you. Now, here we go. U.S. Mint sales numismatic products below our table showing the latest available sales from U.S. Mint numismatic products. The sales period covers from January 8 to January 14. Products with an asterisk are no longer available and have no reported sales. Look at the numbers there. That is something to brag about right there. That's huge. Now, Morgan and Peace, yep, lost 3.15%. That's a gut punch if there ever was one. Don't understand what's going on there. Is there accounting off? I mean, I just did somebody hit an extra keystroke. I don't know. I don't get it, but that is incredible. So we're only going to be looking at the ones that have a, a plus 1% increase or maybe even close to that. And so far, we haven't got to that. Look at that. That proof said, bam, 1390. And I bet that makes the United States Mint happy, having to have, well, less of those outer sleeves that they got to switch them out for, right? That's incredible. That is just huge. 
That's huge. Let's keep on keeping on. That's There we go. That's the only one so far that had a 1% increase. That's the limited edition silverproof set from 2023. After that, you got to keep on keeping on and keep on keeping on and keeping on and on and on till the break of you know what. Yeah, not much going on in this particular report, really, other than the fact that, well, we had, look at that. There's two right there. The 100 coin bag from Mississippi and the, and the uh, Philadelphia and Denver each had pretty good robust numbers so that's pretty amazing and look at that the rest of them from indiana louisiana they look like they're um sold out this year right so that's something to think about i love my innovation series coins really do and that i think is going to be almost it really don't have too much to talk about for this particular one i think most of the um sales are going to be for the uh, harriet tubman coin and then obviously about five products from last year right that's incredible for 2023 yeah, there we go. So not much going on other than the fact that, yeah, we have an error that we'd like to talk about. And did you get the letter and the replacement box? Yeah, that would be something, huh? I got three sets of this one here, and I got three of the American Women Quarters in the um, just the quarter set. So it'll be interesting to see if the United States Mint replaces all of them or just one of them. What What's going to be their prerogative on that? Isn't that something? Now let's go to the plus ones. Charity. Yeah. It says here, he who lengthens the life of a poor man through charity will have his own life lengthened when his time to die comes. Well, geez, I better guess if you want to be here longer, we better best start giving, right? That's about right. Now, off to 395.99.9 KOIN Coin News Radio. This is Journey, any way you want it. This is probably one of my favorite songs by Journey. High energy, great song, super duper motivational in the morning. And there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're in, see, well, sub the channel. It's free. And if you're already a sub, well, maybe consider becoming a member. It's $1.99 a month. And that's really not that much nowadays, seeing how everything is so expensive. Stack her out.